okay. Um, then I will, uh, yeah, we're just on our way, so we're part way there anyway. Uh, we're just going to have a little quick chit chat, I guess. Um, if, yeah, I don't know if anybody, right, let's think of a topic while I wait for anyone, really. Hell. Nice. I like it. What do you think about hell? Do you think hell is a physical place? Do you think it's a, a state of like eternal suffering? Do you think it's a quick thing? Well, I believe. Do you hell, think it's just separation from God? Like, what I, do you think? I believe hell, as, Morning. as it says in Matthew's Gospel, it says that there are two eternal states, two eternal places. One of these eternal states is eternal life. The other one is eternal punishment. So I believe hell is eternal. Once you are there, there is no getting out. Nice. I think that I agree. <laughs> yeah, I do. I don't believe in um, just a one-time uh, spiritual death. I think, yeah, I, I believe it's eternal suffering or eternal life. So, hi, Cor. Um, Cor said hello. Hi. So, yeah. So that's that's that covered then. What what make what? How come that's on your mind? Like, have you been debating about it or? I was actually, yeah, I was debating a universalist, unitarian, annihilationist. On and Discord. on the weekdays he's a vegetarian. <laughs> on, a, on Discord, and he was basically arguing that people are, let's say, burned up, for example, they are annihilated. They do not go through it for eternity, as the Bible says, but rather they, they cease to exist. Much like the there are heretical groups out there that believe in this. And uh, it is a heresy, there's no two ways about it, it's a heresy. The early church did not teach annihilationism. Uh, we can try. They didn't teach Unitarianism we, either, no, to be fair. <laughs> we, we can try and argue that the early church did teach annihilationism, but you would be in error. And we can show from the early church fathers that they absolutely did believe in a eternal place, eternal state called hell. Right. I would add briefly, like, it doesn't make sense. So for something, you know, whatever God creates, it can't be destroyed, like just on this, you know. So our souls are you know it, obviously god makes everything or christ makes everything but our souls are i think too precious and there's too much of the blood of christ being shed for our souls to then say that they can be burned up oh sorry yeah some of the people who hold to that view i think they do it from a misplaced sense of sympathy or they want to make it less um, horrific however that boils down in my opinion to a wrong view of sin like so we of course as sinful uh, beings can justify the most outrageous nonsense because it's not hurting anyone and it's this that the other but if you would if you take the bible and look at god's view of sin like even the most minor sin you know it's it's outrage it's absolute like he cannot have it near him high animal high express pearl watch a james so yeah, so I yeah I agree. Hell is an eternal punishment. Obviously, I I uh, agree with the gospel. Like that's a, a weird one. To, when this is the other thing, there are some things. Um, Higher shadow born seventy four. There are things that you can. I was just saying to Ben earlier. You can take out verses and argue both sides of a case from the Bible, and that's where you need the discernment and the context and the precept upon precept. But some things are just. I don't really see a great case being made from the bible for just a one time you're gone deal i mean even because like, of shale as well and you know what i mean i mean there are i mean heretical groups like i mentioned jehovah's witnesses do not believe hell is eternal well i'm gonna get right on it then i mean it's settled they must be right so there are there are heretical i mean there are some within you know who are who are, have their toe in orthodox christianity who accept this position of annihilationism and ultimately it's ahistorical it's Hi, unbiblical Deborah. And like I say, you're you're in the same camp as Jehovah's Witnesses on that one, which is, Ooh, which which is, is a, a very shame. small camp. There's only 144,000 in there, isn't there? Which, which is a great shame. So yeah, and uh, also Michael is not Jesus. So uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, he's not. So so do do um do reject that position of annihilationism. It's totally irrational, illogical. It, it would technically be unjust as well. And uh, yeah. And also, like I say, because scripture is perfect, we agree on that, don't we? And inerrant in its first, you know, uh, manifestation, then uh, the Bible just doesn't teach that. And whatever denomination or branch of Christendom you are encamped in, none of them <clears throat> teach that the Bible is in error. Like I say, if you was to go to Matthew's Gospel, I believe it's either Matthew, I'm doing this off the top of my head, it's either Matthew 24, 25, I believe, or 
maybe 26, where Jesus, one of those chapters. It's in the 20s. Where, um, where, where Jesus says that there are those who argue that eternal punishments, that the word eternal Hi, there, which is the same Greek word being used, that the word eternal there simply means that they will be burned up. So it's not really eternal. But then when you, For get, eternity, but, but then when you get to the eternal life, you want to there believe that that same Greek word actually doesn't really mean eternal then your, your exegesis is somewhat inconsistent and it no longer becomes <coughs> exegesis, but rather eisegesis. Yeah, you are reading yeah. into the text what makes you feel comfortable. You don't like the idea of an eternal hell, mm -hmm. of eternal punishment, so you read into the text that which is not there. Mm. I think maybe you could argue no. that... The, no, no, I'm saying... <laughs> oh, sorry. You could potentially say that you have life for eternity or you have death for eternity but the script it doesn't say that but I mean that's a way of consolidating the meaning and going the other way with it but don't do it just don't do it what's the point in heresy it just gets another one comes along after a minute if you if you like for example believe that there's no Adam and Eve as we were discussing pr like previously as well then you're setting yourself up for a whole you have to go into heresy thank you animal you have to go into heresy um, because you're also calling Jesus a bit of a wally because he he spoke of Adam as a real historical character and not only that he is the second Adam and there's no point if sin didn't come into the world through one man not a monkey a man there or a Neanderthal then um, what's Jesus coming down for he's made a massive mistake in his bookings and uh, yeah hi dragon as well hi buck biblical Unitarian Christian to his friends but not his mother, I suspect. I'm, I'm just guessing you're a dude as well. I'm cisgendering you. I do apologise. But, um, yeah. So, let's get the chat back on. Any topics that you would love to hear Ben and I disagree on? That I mean, <laughs> present a unified front on. Jamie, you're such a fish. Buy your own coffee, mate. You can't. You don't even want to fling three quid a month to for like apologetics classes. Hi, Dragon. I heard about. I had a chat. One of our admins on Soco messaged me about something. I won't talk about it here, but uh, yeah, she passed on to me the message of some people were hacked and that. So I'll yeah, be careful, everybody, about clicking any links from anybody because it might not be the person you think it is sending you the link. Right on the luck front but uh yeah so any topics or are you just a bunch of relentless trolls you madam drive like a heretic that is true how do you know it's a madam are you just assuming i can see in the mirror okay all right i'll let you off then maybe a really effeminate man with those hands nope it's a woman driving oh my like gosh an, did you see the eyebrows driving, though driving like an absolute heretic like someone with those eyebrows to carry you drive like a biblical unitarian you like, you like what I did there? I no, <laughs> but you know, okay. Yeah, so yeah, following on from yesterday's slightly two drinks on the uh, stream that I did on the back of the four nil. Did I say four nil? I think I said four nil victory of this green and pleasant land. Um, yeah, I can't remember really too much what I was talking about, but I'm glad that I got back to the Bible, as it were, because I I was. I sounded like a football hooligan for a hot minute in a yeah I, I didn't go out to the pub though so that's one blessing there's no footage of me screaming uh, but yeah so I went to a Catholic church as everybody knows but the Catholic that I went there with wasn't too fussed about like it to be honest it's it, it, I think the church is built in the 40s or something like that the 50s so post-war like a you know recession and that there were, I mean, there were stained glass windows, but to be frank, it was, I don't want to be frank, I'll be K. Um, it was pretty, like, basic. It, it didn't seem very ornate, whereas the Catholic churches that I like, the ones I post the pictures of often, like, I like that. I don't necessarily need a higher church, as in the order of service and stuff. Well, I need a Protestant church, let's be fair. But as a field trip for research, it was, like, he and I asked the priest to settle a... Thing about who's uh, who's going to crush, uh, like who's going to defeat Satan? Is it Mary because she's sorry? I shouldn't laugh because she's the second Eve, or is it just Jesus, as everyone knows? And the priest just like literally took a physical step backwards from us and was like, "Oh, I'd have to look into it." And I'm like, 
but you're a priest. So either he was being diplomatic uh, or like he doesn't really know, because I had to give him the reference as well, the Genesis, I don't know, man, I don't know. But he's a nice guy actually, that priest. I've known him a little while. So, uh, yeah, same as when I brought up Islam, he like physically, do you realize they say that Christ wasn't crucified? Do you realize that um, they're allowed, you know, like murder and lying are, are okayed by Allah who isn't God and pretends to be God and the blood, you know, just my usual uh, over dinner chat. It's a fake mountain to bring Mohammed to. <laughs> no, I'm joking about that bit. Uh, it's a fake mountain. Does everyone want to see the fake mountain at Marble Arch? There you go. Isn't it rank? And a waste it's of not money. ready yet, but also they've taken all the flagpoles down. Total waste of tax Globalist money. nonsense. Yeah, exactly. Exactly right. For what as well? For what is my question. But I don't have to give it the emphasis, but I did anyway. Total waste of money. It's just outrage, outrage. Because we've got so much money after the lockdown. We just don't know where to fling it next. But yeah, we're basically here. We have to park up those, so we've got still a while to go. So let me get back to the live chat. Um, yeah, so that's, it is outrageous jumping like a monkey. I'm so glad you agree. Baz Allget is saying, we are waiting to receive some of our churches back from the state, but we don't want them really because there's no way to repair them. Oh, I see. Um, well, there is a way, there is actually a way. I mean, Christians aren't tight when it comes to deserving causes. So we we should just rally around. Look, I mean, look how much money we've raised to produce The Chosen. I think that's money well spent. Don't like, yeah. So we are capable of, um, of massive amounts of um, like financial sway as the body of Christ. You know, we don't have to love the money. Like it's not dealing with money, etc. is not necessarily, it's not the evil part. I'm trying to send you pictures from my Catholic ch cathedral. Oh, thank you, Ed Law. But you couldn't get onto Discord. That's my, uh... okay. Do you have Skype, Ed Law? If you do, that's an another route, because I'm speaking like an, or route, as we call it, to get there. The abortion amendment proposed to full term tomorrow. Basil, get which country are you? Which you uh, comments on there, buddy. Sorry, which country are you referencing? No, I got to Ed's one about the Catholic cathedral, and then or one of my uh, one of my family lives in New York, not Brooklyn, but they're over here for a little while, just a few months. Maybe I'll ask them to do a field trip. Biblical Unitarian Christian said, "Hi, Kay and Ben. Are you looking forward to any discussions at Speakers Corner? And do you have anyone in mind to chat to?" Ben, over to you. I just turn up. <laughs> So I put the mic out to it. Um, uh, what I do, sometimes it depends, like prayerfully, I'll, I don't know if it's inspiration or not really, like I just get a little thing in my mind that I'd quite like to discuss. But you're on a hide into nothing if you're talking to Muslims, especially Dawah, because it's very difficult to steer the conversation. If it's if it's one-on-one, -on -one, it's easy enough, but if you remember last week when I was surrounded, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it can be a bit frenetic. However, I would like to discuss one of the following, just off the top of my head. The Bible being perfect is one. The sufficiency of prayer. They're both topics that I've... Uh... So snarky. <laughs> no, no, I'm not snarky at all. I am forthright and assertive because I have God on my side. Forthright and assertive, but yes. I won't name drop. <laughs> I'm not. I haven't once. I haven't once. So the sufficiency of prayer is something that uh, an, uh, we, to a lady and I, uh, spoke with Bob about, and there was mixed uh, reactions in my comment section. So it's not like everybody said, "Kay, you're absolutely right," which is the correct answer, by the way. But um, but yeah, so I'd like to maybe take that up. But I don't know anyone else who's actually asserted it. Oh, said a comment about me. I'd love Ben to school the odd Shia guy. Oh, the odd Shia guy, not a random. The one with the Citizen Smith, the green array and the big green flag. The lunatic, the one who got boxed the other week. Oh, the chubby guy. The one who we see rolling about at Marble Arch fighting. Oh, okay. Yeah. So could you please school him ASAP? The guy who just shouts? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it, Basically, Jamie just wants to see you get shouted at, but maybe supported by Sunnis. <laughs> well, you're not bad with a little right hook. So, I mean, you, I reckon you'd take him. One Bible behind your back. You know what I mean? Yeah, he said yes, Jamie. Um, virtual corner. Who's virtual? Oh, that's, born, oh. that's born again. Oh, Chris. Okay, um, 04 
pay up. Said, hey guys, what does people like Jason Burns have against the church? <laughs> I'm shh, shh. I'm Greek, wait, I'm Greek Orthodox and I'm appalled by people like him that act like Christians. Well, Over to you, Ben. Um, if you, if you, um, see Jace, Jason Burns has done on his channel, 10 hours of content trying to like refute me, talk about me, things like that. He done the same, he done something similar with Jay Dyer, William Ulbrecht and uh, Sam Shamoon. So he's basically against everyone who believes in an apostolic church, basically. Um, anything that's not Protestant, he's just against. We're all heretics, we're all going to hell. What, we're against, okay. what, what um, basically what it is, um, if you go to my channel, I actually have a, a brief debate with him and it just, he falls to pieces. The, the man raining. the man has made many arguments in a debate he can't, he can't debate. He's he's not very good, basically. It's all, it's all mouth. What do we say? In, no trousers. We, we all bark, no bites. Oh. All, all, mouth, <laughs> all mouth, no trousers. All mouth, no trousers. Um, yeah, not very good. Okay, so I don't know what he's bunnying on about because I, to be fair, I watch them if they, like some of the ones that have been uh, talking about Ben, I've like watched a few minutes just to double check. But, um, oh yeah, yeah. But, by the way, man, like I said, do not be fearful because the deal is retired. So your nemesis, <laughs> he didn't say the nemesis, oh, a deal, the, the blue jacket yeah. guy, yeah. Anyway, so Jason Burns, I just, I don't know if it is being a bit bitchy. Yeah, whatever. He just looks like quite demented sometimes. Like seriously, no, like I've got to say it. He doesn't look spiritually edified when he's calling people like evil. Oh, he called, oh, that's right. Um, he then kicks me from his live stream because he was basically saying, I saw the video, hold on, I missed that comment. Go on. I saw the video and you absolutely scored it. Okay, yeah. So he tried to like say, well, you believe in works-based salvation. Uh, the Council of Trent teaches works-based salvation. And then I quoted the Council of Trent on the session on justice, which says, and I'm paraphrasing, but if you believe you are going to heaven based upon your good works without divine grace from Jesus Christ, you are anathema. Hey. So the Pelagian heresy he tries to attribute to us, we totally, our, our councils reject that. Um, and then he kicks me from the live stream. And then when a Catholic tried to post a link to the Council of Trent to show what I was quoting from, he deleted it. And then after that, he called me a pig. Okay. Um, so he called. So it me, was all in good fun, yeah. He called me an evil <laughs> Catholic, and and I'm a pig. So he's not very good willed, and um, the man can't debate for toffee. Well, maybe he's had too much toffee. Who knows? And then he says, "Oh, he says, Ben, you can't. You haven't given me any scholarship. I'm going to the primary text. I don't need to give you scholarship because Jason's whole argument is is basically built upon an appeal to authority. He reads from William Webster." And he thinks that's good enough. I, I can read from William Webster, Ben, and William Webster says this, therefore it's true. Well, I can, I mean, that doesn't work. Kay can bring a Protestant, me and Kay can disagree on something. Kay can bring a Protestant scholar. I can bring a Catholic scholar. But we you, both know you, I'm right. You, can, you know what you, I mean? You can, you can bring an Orthodox scholar. You can bring a Unitarian scholar, and they're all going to give a different opinions. Yeah. So the best, our best option really is to go to the primary text and deal with that. But Jason's like, no, no, let's not do that. Let's go to the scholarship. And I said to him, Jason, go no. Go to the Bible. I said to then that Ben's not really bothered. <laughs> well, let's get out oh, of this sorry, moment because I'm me, sweating. Me, and there, there was also some dishonesty um, because he and Kay, you're a witness to this because he says I lied. I did not. He said he wants. He he said he offered you a debate. Well, yeah, blah, but before blah, blah. before we had that debate the other day, he is yes, I yes. Before we had that debate the other day, he asked me to um, debate him on a Monday. I then said yes, I'll be at your live stream on a Monday, and then that Sunday I was at Speaker's Corner. I had it. Kay had it and Sam had it. All of us had the same person come up to us and say that Jason said it's not going to be Biblical Monday. Biblically said you're right, Jason was wrong about the Galatians. Yeah. He, sa he said it's not going to be Monday now, Ben, it's going to be Thursday. So obviously I'm not going to check his live stream on a Monday if it's now moved to Thursday. He then went live on Monday and said, oh, see, Ben didn't turn up, he's running away. That's then when I turn up to the live stream, that night's still Monday, and I ask him for the link, he says no. That's, so that's it, it, it's the height of dishonesty. That's why I, I entered his live chat. Because you'll see he's doing like a talk on um, on uh, the, the, the five solas, I think. Something like, no, the Doctrines of Grace he was doing a talk on. So I entered the live stream because there was a link. So I entered it then without him knowing I was going to join. Because I kind of thought, if, if he knows I'm going to join, he's not going to let me come. So I thought, I'm going to join and we had that debate and we did. And it, uh, he fell through. Well, at least he actually spoke to you eventually. Do you know what I mean? Instead of keep running. He didn't because, want to, though. He, yeah, tried he to must avoid. be out of breath. Quite quickly. I'm not saying that. It's terrible. I did say that and I am terrible. It's a good job I got Jesus really. Be ashamed of well, no, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Then, I won't be. Then, then my glasses, I, I, I thought that. I wondered whether you wore women's sunglasses.
No, they're not mine. They must be your missus. Your bag there is behind the chair. Right, let's get my, let's get everything sorted, people, because it's quite sweaty. Thank you, Armour of God. I've only been killing time till you got here, babes. I haven't really chatted anything important. I've let Ben do the talking. What, Fanny Hunt? What, darling? Oh, God, that's it. See, men just completely inept without a woman's intervention. Although that's not an argument for Mary, obviously. Obviously. It's not coming your way, Jane. It's going towards coffees and uh, the will of the father who sent him, as it were. Right. Some might find its way to uh, persecution.org, actually. Right. Right, ho. So, I haven't even got my little stick thing out on the... Yeah, it was a, it is a nice day. It was forecast, it was raining all day long. Yeah, it's meant to be raining all day long. So but I came out in a dress, so uh, it will rain. Don't worry about that because I don't have a jacket. So like I said, the Met Office waits for me in the morning to see what I'm, what I'm wearing. I'm convinced of it. Not that I'm like narcissistic, but... Anyway, everyone, this is Edgeware Road. It's quite a big Arab area. A lot of shisha bars and, uh, you know, just Arabic writing and everything. But I'm learning Arabic writing. Thank you, A4, mm, P-A-O-K, Pat, Pat, Pat Ock. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, so it's a heavily Arabized area. Not so much Islamized because some of the bars sell alcohol and I can confirm that. <laughs> and it's genuine alcohol. So uh, morning, Jeff. Morning, Jeff. It's not morning, it's afternoon, but I don't judge you because you're a time traveller. It's fine. Yeah, it's, it's quite sweaty. <laughs> it's quite warm and nice. Yes, man, like eight. But I'm going to show you the big lunatic mountain that they're... Oh, they just... It's just outrageous. Oh, thank you. We're both loved. Um, a 4 P O O P A O K. You gotta get a snazzier name, really, like a snappier name. You know what I mean? That's not really a name people remember. It's, yeah. It's well, they might. I, I probably remember it now because that's just a A4 P A O K. Yeah. It's <laughs> John, Matthew, Mark. We, we definitely. I will remember anyway. It's very kind of you. So. Thanks, Chuck. Oh, the gang's all here. Love it. Love it. Right, we're coming up to the mountain of Mohammed. What is that? The Tower of Babel in the middle of it. Look at this crap, everyone. I hope not. Yeah. Now it looks very temporary, though, all the scaffolding underneath. They can't. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that could be. Yeah, probably like a. I don't know. Oh. Hang on. Thank you very much, Ta Tatiana. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, that's lovely. Like, see this silver sort of lily thing? I think that's really pretty. That's Apart from the LGBTQ plus sign in the window. What tramps. Oh, my gosh. Why do we need that in a multiplex sports centre? Like... Plus. Plus, paedophiles, I don't know. It's just prejudice. Just absolute outright. Oh, left wing narrative, satanic BS. I'm gonna go with because it's Sunday. How long? <laughs> no mudda, 10, nine, eight. Yeah, he, I don't know, it was his birthday last week and when I went to hug him, he made a noise that made me recoil and uh, <laughs> Modi, what well, he said it was, and then he made some weird sex noise as I went to hug him and I was just like, no, no, not one bit of it. Ah, oh, animal, bless you. I love doing the Muppet Show. Alright, we're nearly, as soon as we get there, I'm just going to quickly slip you lot out of my phone case, as it were, and put you in the stick and then my arm won't be aching quite so much. We're on our way, we're on our way to the finals. Right. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, that'll do. Have faith, step out boldly, etc. <laughs> and wait for the lights to change. Right. I'm going to ask these muppets. Is that what you work in? That sort of light bulb when you're doing manly stuff. Nice. I know. Yeah, I wouldn't fancy it. I got put into my... When I was abroad, I had to find a fire brigade to get back into my flat. I broke down in one of those. And they put me in the window in one of those from the fire brigade. Oh, shit. I was in a basic like that and it broke down. James. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Ben's my... Uh, my. Oh, thank you, AS. It's very kind of everybody. Um, yeah, Ben is like a chauffeur of the Lord. Is it? I'm not the Lord, but I mean, you know what I mean? Like a godly... So, yeah, if you get if you get here lively, I shall be... A beer sounds acceptable. Would, would, would one care for a beer? Uh, some... It depends on time we go. Yeah, well, 20 minutes before I'm you want to go. Yeah. Six. yeah. Maybe 6.15. I'll leave at 6. Oh, no, no, yeah. six. I'm going to be out of here by 6 ish. All right. That should be fine. Do you know what? It's only, I didn't get home to 11 the other night, uh, the other Sunday, but. Sorry, I've just grasped myself. No, I wasn't out on the razzle. But my friend and I went to a bar to wait for the rain to stop and it was st when I got home I dried out completely with the heat lamps and then uh, yeah just got absolutely drenched again by the time I got home and got off the at my stop it was bouncing off the floor so uh, I wasn't impressed really I mean I know it's the glory of nature and that but I was like eh, I've seen it all before right looks quite for a hot day it looks quite uh I can't see because that big tree in the way. Yep. Right, everybody, this is the... No, I see a load of little feet there. So we've got our friends from uh, Her Majesty's Constabulary. No, I know, because everyone saw the rain report and believed it. Right, let's get the live chat back on. It is lovely, Corey. It's one of the royal parks. I will do, yes, I'll buy him a coffee. Um, yeah, so, yeah, this is one of the royal parks. We've got, uh, I think, seven royal parks in London. I might be different, slight different rules, so even the Metropolitan Police are, like, out of their complete depth. The Royal Parks Police are the ones who know the ordinances. Oh, we've got one of the Romans in. I don't know if the trainers are a really Roman <laughs> innovation, but... Um, Oh no, he's got lace up boots and stripy socks. So, yeah, so these are the people. People's corner. I'm just gonna, uh, Ben, I'm gonna nip over to the doodah. Do you want a coffee? Uh, sh sugar. Do you know what I'm gonna do? Do you wanna walk over there with me? Because I'm gonna change my selfie stick and all that. I'll buy it. G give it 10 minutes, I'll get you it. All right, come on then, gang. Huh? Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Right. Next question. See this guy? You see this guy? You see this guy? Sometimes he pretends he's a Muslim. Sometimes he pretends he's an Israelite. He just doesn't really like me. Or maybe he does like me. Maybe he's like a schoolboy who sort of like punches his girl and runs away. Right, I've got football chants in my head now. Shots. Gotta get the clean ones. Jeremiah 8 8. You're talking twaddle. Salam. Salam. Absolute twaddle. Like, at least come with something decent. It doesn't even say anything about. I don't get where you're getting your exegesis. Your isogesis from, sorry. Right, I'm just going to quickly take a seat get my little selfie stick thing out and then uh then we're good to go really thank you express yeah i thought so i mean my brother called me i thought he was gonna have a go at something because i remember i swore i think once uh but yeah i think it was bleeped out but yeah i uh he said no i just was wanting to tell you that the you know the patience and that was pretty impressive so i was pleased about that Oh, what's in it, tech beer? Twack beer. Is it um extra caffeine? Like, is it like uh, Turkish coffee, maybe? Hi, Alba. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. God bless you. That's absolutely false as well, Salem. You're two for two. 
you want to embarrass yourself anymore? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I'd delete it. Oh no, it wasn't you. It was some. Almost like he watches Zach and Mike or something. Yeah, man. So yeah, let's. Oh, let's not break my phone. One sec. I just. I, oh, that's my finger. I think I just broke my finger now. I'm trying to do this. Kobe. No, I'm. I'm. I've come to sort out my equipment. I've come to get this phone sorted out. Right. Let's see go. Right. Stay there, everyone. A minute. One-handed. Look at the skill. Uh, not the power. Ah, right, I'm back again. Okay, so that was painless, relatively. Right, so now it's getting overcast because because I'm wearing a dress, obviously. And uh, I won't get the coffee for Ben yet because I don't know if he takes sugar. I don't know what he's talking about. But yeah, let's go and see the, the people. Love a bit of people. Well, in small numbers if they don't breathe too loudly. Sorry for the uh, weird angles. I'm just trying to put my stuff back in my bag, which I should have done, to be fair, whilst I was sitting down. Right, so I'm going to do, I reckon I'm going to stream for like another, whatever, 20, half hour. Then when JC gets here, I'm going to grab that camera before Bob gets here because I cannot take the stress of getting home and realising that I've got no, like, content as in persecution and that because in during the week, I'm um, oh, my hair is just gone. I'm uh, in the week, I'm, you know, like doing lectures and live streams and all of that. So, look at the barnet. Look at this chisel. Like, what am I supposed to do with this, people? Right. Yeah, John, I don't know what that's in reference to, but I don't imagine it's much. Oh, Alba, that's very sweet. I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased. Say hello to you. Right. Oh, this cycle lane is so silly. Why do they come through it on a Sunday? All right, Sam. Is that many? I'm not bad. There's only Joel what's in there except for Usman. No, Usman, I'm saying, is there giving Dawa, but it's no one... Like, okay. all right. Uh, oh, nearly got run over by a very fast moving vehicle. <laughs> that would have been hilarious, to be fair. But, um, ah, it's my brother. <laughs> it's John with his hair cut. All right, we're good. So, I said, yeah, I'm going to nick that second camera in a minute. Get it done before Foghorn turns up. Who else? Oh, private combo. I don't know. Hi, John. She's not here, though. Thanks, Animal. I'll tell you. Yes, she is. Uh, what is it? <laughs> Literally, in front of my face. So there's that. Right. Listen to um, John for a minute. Because I am here with Ben, Rory. That's why I called it Speakers with Ben. Just one of those things. Bob, on, Bob. It says, fight those who do not, who believe not in Allah, nor the last day, nor hold that thing forbidden, which have been forbidden by Allah. He's jumping out the conversation, let alone jumping sources. No, no, That's a translation. Translate the Why is it? It's Henry Lake to translate the Quran. Because you bring the name of Jesus. Aye, aye. And have a string to his bow. I knew he was a bit of a tosser, but yeah. He wrote the book. 
Ooh. He said, I know you are the priest. <laughs> nice. Jesus, this is not your business. I change as I Jesus, it's not your business. Wow. Well, what is it? Is it Do the running noise. Do the running noise. <laughs> 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 why he said to the priest. Pardon? Oh, he changed it. Who changed it? Henry VIII, why he did to the church. Henry VIII. Why he did to the Bible. Henry VIII yes. adopted Protestantism. That's what he did. Wow. I've been refuted by someone showing me their back. Yeah, what a tip. to say hello to Kate. Hi. Oh, it's just nice to see you again. Still wearing a mask. Thank you. Well done, you. I will. Thank you. Oh, no, this guy. I can't do it. Ben, sidestep. He thinks, he showed me a picture of God on his phone last week. It was just some geezer. He's not well. He's saying uh, he, is, he was God. Or, no, he gets in the back of all the bits. Anyway, let's go for a wonder, everyone. We're on our way. We're on our way. England. Right. Oh, that's, oh, but that's lovely. Are you still back? Armour of God, we have many cartoon characters. Michael, I will pass on your uh, hello to Ben. I can't be bothered. He's, I don't know. He's where I just left him, basically. Bloodfire has got a channel animal, yes. I will tell him. He's in the middle of doing a wrap-up of a video. It's something like Bloodfire of London. Oh, nice, Alba. Nice, nice. Nice place. The flat earthers don't believe it exists, but oh, I'll see you later, dragon. I miss you. See you soon, anyway. Okay, I'll, I'll go and pass that on because that's a lovely little massage. I'll get my bag straight. Um, hang on. Alba, who is the uh, person who said they're an Iraqi Christian, they live in Australia and they just wanted me to say like hello to you and they love you. Uh, I have to find the thingy. Uh, he wants proof, he doesn't believe me. I'm joking, I'm joking. Hi to Ben, I love Ben. Oh, I know this guy, yeah, hi. Yeah. It's a good job. Australia is better than Iraq for Christians, that's for sure. Right, so, oh, he's getting my camera out. Yeah, so once um, JC... Oh, it's just raining. Once JC um, gets my second camera out, then I'm going to quickly do some persecution bids. And uh, then I shall return like a whirlwind. And also, the Darwa aren't here yet, other than, other than Usman. Up his little lad, I'd left him. Uh, so, yeah, so I will do that. But I, I promise I'll be back because I've got a full battery and I've got a charger. And Charles is over there playing up for the non existent cameras. So, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be back shortly. But I want to make a couple of persecution bids. And, uh, yeah. Yes, yes. So I want that kind of thing. Of course, that's how I'm going to do it. I don't mind what's happening. Oh, yeah, it's trouble. I mean, double trouble. I'm all right. I'm so tired. I don't know. I don't know. Probably. Would you wear a hat or a scarf? Or... <laughs> I see a lot of big drugs around here. You'll be shocked. <laughs> yeah, she's just over there. Uh, I literally was standing right in front of her and said to everyone, now show me. Because she's like up to the head. Yes, you know, I'll see you in a minute. Well, that's, oh, that's nice. Some people I know. Yeah. I see someone else I know, but they're in. They look deep in debate, so maybe. Daffod is making fun, unless Kisha, you're not of us. I don't know. So. Let's see what that question was regarding Catherine. Yes, yes, happy frenzy. She is over by the fence where I was standing. I will let him know. He's just, he's, I just have to, he, he's just in the middle of something, but I will definitely let him know, Rory. Oh, hello. You all right? Good to see you. Um, Salam, you talk absolute twaddle, it seems. Wow. How is that for a burden? Everything you say is false. Oh, gosh. Ah, thank you, Effie. You all right, Tell? Yeah, yeah, I'm all right. I called by to see you to say hello. Yeah, she keeps falling over, so try not to go to the door because if she gets up and falls, do you know what I mean? But I'm just live streaming, so I don't want to talk on my business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take care. Sorry, no, I'm with you. I don't want to hear that. We're not talking about uh, religion. Sorry. I'm not filming you, I'm filming myself, darling. It looks like you're filming me, though. Now you'll know then. 
People are so distrustful. Really, really weird. Joel, no, I it's true. Rude. No, it's no worries. No, no worries. I wasn't trying to be rude. It looked like no, I didn't say rude. I said weird. You, did, you didn't believe me, I was saying. Why, 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 but why would I lie? Why would I want to lie about... Well, you said it looks like it, but I said I'm not. And then you showed me, fine. Exactly, but I'd already said I wasn't. I'm asking... You, have to, you have to show us. Because there's all types of cameras these days. You know, yeah, but you, you could know that I'm trustworthy. India and, uh, India and China, which country do you think they're doing well and as a nation? Financially or for, for God? You know, the standard of their life. If it's for duplicity, China's doing quite yeah. well in Look, controlling yeah. stuff and being a bit like dodgy and <laughs> locking up Christians and Muslims. Still... <laughs> and so I'd have to say India, that's even though the Hindu nationalists no. are a problem. No, you're, you're saying that India is not doing well? No, no, I'm saying China might be outwardly doing all right, but they're doing it by satanic means. Okay, well, they're persecuting people of God. I agree. So. <laughs> but why are you supporting China? Anyway. So let's have a little stroll while JC gets my camera ready. Quran is, yes, definitely. The father of lies is Satan. We know that. So therefore the best deceiver. Hi, necromancer. Thank you. Bob is not here yet, but he will be, I, I imagine. Let's, let's see what the Romans say. Oh, nice, Corb. Sorry. To, uh, I, I wasn't bigging up India, by the way, like in terms of global stuff. It was just China's Actually, worst. Actually, bitch is a derogatory term for a female dog. It's not a derogatory term. It's just the term. Female. Yeah, female dog is a bitch. It's not insulting them. Anyway, do you see his socks and his, train, uh, his boots <laughs> for a Roman centurion or whatever? I don't know if he's a centurion or just one of the, like, you know, run-of-the-mill dudes. So. Yeah, no Dawa, but many Christians. I don't know what that means, Rory. You'll have to reword that, babe. I don't necessarily have a problem with Zionism. So I still don't know what it means. I think you missed out a word or... I believe I'll be in Zionism, but I don't know. Hey, how you doing? Hi, Hey, what's that thing? Oh, you no, he comes to Jesus yet. He comes to Jesus yet. Have I come to Jesus yet? Yeah. No, he's always waiting for you. You just have to knock and the door will be opened. Exactly that. It's almost like you're in there halfway. It could, it could, it could happen, you know. Okay. Talk to me after. I'll help you. I am the one. I'm, well, I've got the one. Okay. I will bring the one. Nice one. Yeah, yeah, I'll talk to you in a minute when I finish this. That's Moses, everyone. That's the guy who he and I debated um, Abbas before on uh, whether you can beat your wife, etc. So, yeah. Yeah. All right, so I think my camera's probably ready. Let's find out. Is my camera ready? Yeah. Wicked. Hang on, Rory's talking crap for a change. Okay, I still don't quite understand that comment, Rory. But, um... Yeah, zero is the... Uh, I, I know you're winking, so I guess you're joking. You're supposed to be the best example It's hard when you're just reading stuff. It sounds weird sometimes. <laughs> oh, sorry, I just saw on the live stream. That's mine. This camera is mine. I'm, I'm not doing an advert for you. I'm just... Yeah. Yeah, of course. Um, of course. Oh, oh, Joe was wearing the Soko t-shirt yesterday as well. Day is fault, the white one. We need the number one for uh, Steve as well. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to... Yeah, there is blood fire. All right. Oh, Baza. I'm not preparing anything. Your prophet is supposed to be sent from God, correct? Well, your prophet is supposed to be sent from God. Your prophet is supposed to be sent from God. So we were sent from God. So, so God, is he? Danish man, come out and preach his word across. Oh. 
No, I knew Bob already. Was he in the pub? Yeah, but was he in the pub with us that time? I knew there was a geese with a very good share there. But no, yeah. oh, right. oh, well, it'll come to me. Again, nobody was having sex with children back back to the It wasn't a widespread thing where people just signed on marriage. It wasn't. And you can't show that Right, anyway, everyone, Nami Camera's here and Bob's here and all. I'm going to have to be double lively, you know what I mean? So uh, I'll promise I'll be back, promise. All right, lots of love and uh, thanks for all the super chats and that. And see you soon.